That is Tindora. This is a great little fruit. Um, it's an it's, uh, Indian variety of fruit. Okay. Comes from southern India. Looks like a uh, little squash. Coccinia grandis. And it is a sterile variety. Those seeds will not grow. Ooh. Here, taste that. Yeah. This is a tasty little thing. Right, just eat the like, whole thing? Yeah, like a cucumber right now. But you notice no bug pressure. No. There's no holes. Looks fantastic. And cucumbers just get decimated by bugs. Mm. So good. <laughs> so right now, that's really young when they're green inside. You give it like two more weeks, and it'll, or maybe even less, it'll start to turn orange on the inside. Wow. And then it gets a little sour. And then you give it a little longer, and the whole thing starts to turn red from the bottom all the way up, and then it softens and gets a little sweet. Wow. You get three different flavor profiles out of the same exact. Yeah, there we go. There's a red one. Is this raspberry? Right yeah. Here? Yeah, this is my sort of raspberry. There's a red one. That's a fully ripe tindora. Oh, wow. Like, you can't get any better than that. Exactly. And that's, that's soft. You feel the softness, it'll yeah. be a little sweet. It does feel soft. You, we're gonna be full by the time we get done <laughs> picking. Mmm. <laughs> that's nice. interesting. It's almost like a really, it's almost like mashed potato in a way. Kinda, with some sweetness. Yeah, with a little bit of sweetness. So, see if you can slide through here without getting hooked by the, Okay. go ahead. Without getting hooked by the raspberry, because it's brutal. <laughs> go ahead, I want to go get to the, um, the June plum. Oh, you got the raspberry growing over this trellis. Give me, give me that piece. Yeah, the raspberry is like insane back here. Uh, yeah, I yeah, grew up amongst endless blackberry plants. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know how it is. <laughs> yes. This is another finger line. This is the red finger line. Um, hasn't fruited yet, but this has grown a lot in the last. Okay just one year. I've only had it here a short time, so I expect to see some fruits off it. Finger line. Yeah, you what can I've, see this. I mean, it looks like citrus. Yeah, oh, it is. It's a citrus. Um, there's been, they're doing some research with this. I think maybe using it as a rootstock. Mm. I'm not really sure. Oh. Um, but here, we've got June plum. June plum. Yeah, you know about the June plum. I do. You know mine you died. It <laughs> died? It, yeah, it's the salt. It's the salt. Really? Oh, yes. June plum. That is terrible. All right, we're going to have to dig into this salt thing. Yeah, I need your help. Figure out this problem. Mm, that's so good. It is so good. I can't believe it died. Well, I mean, that's... We are going to figure out that yard because it's ridiculous that you don't have things like that in the yard of the guy who has to eat my backyard. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was planning on eating all the June plums I could stand, but... Oh, they're so good. It was... Uh, I'm pretty sure it was the saltiness on the leaves. It could be. It, you never know. I mean, it could be the salinity in, in the water that it's getting. It could be rain that's just coming off the ocean. Yeah. I'm at the point now, I think I need to get rid of a few things to make room some, for some more interesting things, which is something I know you do here a lot. Maybe. Maybe. I got to get out there. Clearly, we've yep. got some fun to have out there. We right do. <laughs> um, let's see what else we can this, this Tindora is, so is like beautiful back wandering here. all. Look at this Barbados cherry. I put this in last year and it's finally flowering. Oh, wow. They have a tendency to spit their flowers, like flower and spit, and flower and spit. But this one looks fantastic. Yeah, this one doesn't look like other Barbados cherries I've seen. But that's the flower. That's absolutely Barbados cherry flower. Yeah, I mean, it's and, just got uh, larger leaves. Just like... There's a few varieties from what I heard. Um, I'm, I'm not real versed up on them. Yeah. I've managed to kill them a few times. Sure. This is Jax's little project here. He loves these raspberries. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is actually a volunteer. Looks if like, you, if oh, you really? see down at the bottom of it, yeah, it's a full on volunteer. We came out here, I was just walking by one day and I happened to see this little um, leaf poking out of the ground. And I'm like, that's a raspberry leaf. I know wow. that's a raspberry leaf. And we, we left it and I actually protected a little bit and it just took, and it just got it done. Yeah, it's yeah, flowering right now. Super healthy. Loaded and it with just goes and goes and goes. Fruit. We eat so many of them. <laughs> yeah, there's some more tindora up in there. I've created this arch. That's awesome. Yeah, it's taken so well. There's yeah, actually blackberries great. on the other side too, but the tindora and the raspberries have just like taken over. You can see the blackberry right there, throwing this blackberry kind of oh. coming out the side here. Oh yeah, uh-huh. What you got? Hi. Tindora, nice. Oh yeah. That nice, fine. Yeah, if you find any more, we'll throw them all in the salad. Oh, yeah. So that's got, ginger, right? Spiral ginger? Yeah, that's spiral ginger. And actually, behind it is galangal. Oh. That Thai ginger, some really delicious stuff. 
Kalungal. Some hot peppers. This is the best hot pepper right here. Oh, the wow. Ahi cherry pita. Oh. So wow, nice. Oh, the lemon catli guavas. Still popping some fruits. Have you had these? I have not. Lemon catli guava. So delicious. Mmm. Jackson, wow. you want to that is good. Oh, they're, just dropping. they're dropping fruits like crazy. Can't forget the sisu spinach. Yep. Right here on the ground. Right under us. Sisu spinach or Brazilian spinach. Really nice texture on this one. Not a whole lot of flavor on these, but this stuff doesn't go anywhere. It's been here for years. I got this wow. from uh, my friend Miranda and her mom, uh, Christine, some really cool people live right around the corner here in Deltona. And they hunt down all kinds of cool and weird edibles and grow some really great annuals. And uh, they bring, bring neat stuff. We trade stuff all the time. And they, she brought me, a, I don't know, maybe one little plant of this a few years ago. And I have just thrown it everywhere and it is propagated. <laughs> and just covers the ground, there's nothing to do to it. Leave it alone Perfect. and it just rots. Um, this is also called Thai pepper. I generally don't put it in the salad. Kelly doesn't like it very much, but it's edible. It's uh, in the pepper family called Piper Sarmentosum. Interesting flavor, mm, right? Yeah. It's almost like a sandalwood kind of. Yeah, it's it's different. I like it. Um, oh, here's another one of the hibiscuses. This is hibiscus radiatus. Oh yeah, and you can feel the yeah, the pepperiness at the end. Yeah, yeah, it's there. Oh, it's cool. This is absolutely delicious. It's hibiscus radiatus. Wow. Also called October Rose. It will pop in October and have some of the most gorgeous flowers you've ever seen. And it's delicious. Mm. Zippy and tangy and... Yeah, that one almost reminds me of that uh, Roselli a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, same family. Okay. All these hibiscuses have that lemony. Lovey. Love that lemon. All right, who's next? Where are we going? Oh, there's some figs, bud. Some of your big golden honeys are up there. Look at that. Fig oh, yeah. Tucked away. Anything that's soft, you can eat those. That's a giant thing. Yeah. Yeah, there's... Beetles. Beetles! June bugs, they're eating this. Let them have it. Eat this one. That one. Get off of me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> there's one over there, too, that's just hanging. See how it's hanging? Yeah. I don't think you'll ever get one wow. more perfect than that. This is really not the right variety. This is a, it's like a golden honey fig. Mm. It was supposed to be a Texas Everbearing. I bought it as Texas Everbearing. Okay. And it's not, because they're purple. Oh. <laughs> and they don't like to, uh, they don't like our climate. They don't like the humidity. Yeah. So it's really difficult to get them to ripen properly. Well, I see it's got that rust on the leaf just a little bit. Oh yeah, bad, all the figs get that. But the fruits, like, they don't finish right. Yeah, see, they ferment uh, before they get anywhere. Like this one's, they're just lousy. Yeah. I'm yanking that tree. I know all these years on that tree, <laughs> it's gone, I'm pulling it. And sometimes you gotta do, here's, here's those logs that I was talking about. Whoa. That's what I chopped up this morning. I was oh. getting out of there. <laughs> yeah, just a morning's work, no problem, yeah, no big deal. That's what I did this morning, that's why I have a yeah. headache right now. Yeah. <laughs> Some people are still getting out of bed. Yeah, I had 40 foot of that to, <laughs> to rip down. Most of this is from that trunk. It was like a 90 footer. That's some nice quality wood though, isn't it? Yeah, we'll do something with it. I'll make some raised beds with it or something. Oh, okay. We'll do something. They're here now. Yeah, I moved them out here. There might be. Oh, we got to get a papaya. I think I have some, some worthy papayas of green papaya salad. So check this out. This is something I always do with my papayas. 